Darth gave him that name. But how did he survive the Sith Academy? Standards fall during wartime. Korriban will return to the old ways soon enough. You must be our intelligence transfer. Lord Razor's waiting on Hollow. It sounds like our Dark Lord doesn't meet your standards. Sometimes we hear things out of context. Ready to continue, my lord? My squadrons, prepare to launch. Listen well, my new operative, for I will repeat nothing. Corellia is a founding planet of the Republic. It shall be our first conquest as we march to victory through the Core Worlds. But its population fears us. The Republic army resists us. Their doom is our purpose here. Under Lord Razor's command, we've been conducting a bombing campaign for the past six weeks. He's brought us here to coordinate a final airstrike against Aegis Base, the Republic Army's headquarters for this sector. If you need a pilot, you brought in the wrong woman. How terribly insightful. Captain Lechara is handling the attack squadrons. Phase one is the elimination of the outer ring of base defenses, shield generators, bunkers, fuel depots. They're hidden from the air and jam all our sensors, so our bombers can't spot them. Your assignment is to slip past the Republic Army battalions and designate high-value bomber targets. You aim the gun, our pilots pull the trigger. While I'm in the field, what about you? Major Sanos and Captain Lecherar will coordinate the flyers. I'll be diverting any Republic reinforcements. You will be glorious. One master of stealth will cause more devastation than a hundred troops. Then, phase two. With its outer defenses destroyed, Aegis Base itself will be temporarily exposed. Our flyers will continue the engagement, and our war droids will cut off Republic Special Forces. But that's all a distraction. You will infiltrate Aegis Base carrying a portable Beradium warhead. Planted correctly, it will incinerate anyone and anything inside. It'll incinerate the base, and me with it. You will have enough time to escape the blast. If you fail, you die for the glory of the Empire. You'll be patched into our channels to keep you apprised as the assault proceeds. Go now and arm yourself. The fighters have already launched, and Republic blood rains from the skies. Now, Major Nadeka, what of your war drones? Hi guys, welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. Yeah, I don't feel like I care anymore. Hey, Vector, what are we doing on the table? Hang on. You wanna be on a table? Wanna dance? Come on! Uh -huh. You will be my legion of terror. Die, and I will climb your corpses to victory. Uh, sweet. Launch! Victory for Razor! Victory for Razor! Look at this place. Why don't the Empire have anything like this? I'm jealous. Even at this state, Coronet is... is gorgeous. And there's air to breathe between buildings. Um, yeah. It feels really wrong to be part of this destruction though. The buildings and the people here. They've done nothing to deserve it. Why not have the battles in space, I wonder? Uh, 
Hello. Oh, there. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so they just spawned. A bit late, perhaps. Yeah, they're late. I feel like I should know that voice. Distorted, but still. What do you think, Nectar? You think we can sneak around these guys? Let's. I'm done fighting for anyone's cause. Kill it, fool! You're losing engine power! Return to base! There's another one down! Republic reinforcements coming through. We've heard their pride. Let's take it a step further. The pride, huh? Cypher, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm attempting to map. Oh. Put your hands down. Stay out of range of evil space. They've got cannon. Soon they will burn. They will all burn. He could work a bit on his inspiration speech. I need those targets to fly faster. We're dying up here. We only have one operative on the ground. Any more and they get caught in the kill zone. Binox 6 gone. Kill him away. Metal screams like a windstorm. Bones fall like hail. Yet the Republic suffers more. But our troops are suffering too. You didn't think of that. Or you don't care? Our bombers are getting torn apart. You need to pull them back. Those who survive may retreat. But the fighters, their work must continue. Phase 2 begins now. The shields over Aegis base are down. And Major Nadeka has sent the signal to arm your warhead. Deliver it to the very center of the base. Make haste. I'm going to the security codes. I'm not going to Yeah, I think I know that. Something about uh, the way she speaks definitely makes me feel like I should know her. Alright, let's open this door. To match. You keep trying to contact me. Who is this? I'm a friend. The invisible enemy is still out there. We still need you to stop them. Right. 
How do we do that? Talk to me. What's your plan? Go to space, maintain to secure the Incoptor Republic headquarters on Corellia. Go to the terminal and give me access. We need data on Republic troop reinforcements. Okay. I think I know who you are. Send me coordinates if you have them. I'll take a look. Coordinates sent. Be careful, Cypher. I'll be watching. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Who's been watching me all along? We know who. Good, that's good news. If I'm right. We fight for you. We fight for the nest. Oh no, you don't. I found the link up to Republic headquarters. Connecting now. Forty two seconds until intercept. Slicing files. Here. This is Supreme Commander Rands to Corellia Command. I hope General Garza has arrived safely. She spearheads one of two waves of reinforcements. Hers is a special forces-led deployment of armor and infantry. The second wave is a coalition of foreign powers providing a detachment of battle droids, commandos, and shock troops. Details are attached to this message. Whatever the challenges, we will not give up Corellia. The Empire isn't prepared for this level of opposition. If you know anything about the Star Cabal, then you are definitely Keeper. You implied this had something to do with the conspirators. The invisible enemy is manipulating us. So long as that continues, we can't win. Complete your mission to destroy Aegis Base. I've arranged to secure a line at your base's headquarters. After you report in, we need to talk. I agree. I look forward to getting some answers. It'll be good to work together again. Yeah. <laughs> no question. Good. So she's up and about. Awesome. Wow. And I just ran straight into enemy troops. <laughs> yeah. Well, on two sides. That's not good. Let's see if I can do anything about that without, you know, heroic moments or anything. This game usually doesn't make me worried at all, so... Let's see it now. <laughs> I'm almost in trouble. Damn. <laughs> the challenge is sort of gone from this game. Which is... I, I'm not sure I care anymore, actually, because I could just unequip my armor and unbuff myself and the challenge would be well it would be a bit tougher to survive so if i wanted a tough fight i could give myself a tough fight is what i'm saying although someone would probably argue that that's a false challenge if you have to go naked into a fight and i understand that but it's a game for casual players this is Major Nudeka, beginning countdown on the warhead. At zero, everything inside Aegis Base will be reduced to component particles you might want to get out. Let's your out to all squadrons. Clear the airspace around Aegis Base. Go! be the first of my terror thralls. Your faces will be branded with symbols of victory. I'll have artists start on the slaves, my lord. But our losses... Our losses are nothing so long as the Republic weeps. Join us, my shadow operative, as we celebrate. I'm not in the mood. I appreciate the invitation, but 
I have my duties. My lord, the other Sith are coming to council. Then the celebrations must wait. Return to your work. What a shame. <laughs> are we alone now? Alright. Secure comm channel open. Uploading decryption program. There she Good is. Cipher. Together again. Yeah, finally. Welcome back. In case you missed it, operations was disbanded, and my designation retired. Call it habit. <laughs> I heard what happened during my absence, and I'm sorry. There's no time for questions. The conspirators dismantled intelligence because we were close to unraveling their plan. They're exerting unprecedented influence on Corellia. You weren't transferred here by accident. You're here to discover their endgame and expose them before it's too late. Wait, I... Are you going to tell me how you were freed? Who assigned me here? How did you recover from the holotrap? We still have a few allies. I can't name them here. The enemy is monitoring and manipulating military activity. They concealed news of those Republic reinforcements, and I suspect they're doctoring Imperial records as well. I need an unaltered accounting of our forces on Corellia with real data. I can analyze why the conspiracy is pulling strings. Well, that's what you're best at. You haven't lost your touch. The Dark Council recently sent Moff Zamar to perform a top-secret accounting of every soldier, vehicle, and weapon we've lost. He's completed his tour and is taking a skyhopper to the spaceport shortly. Intercept him en route and acquire his report before the enemy can alter it. Bringing down a Moff's transport? <laughs> what could be better? You can force his skyhopper to land by planting a series of false guide beacons around the Labor Valley battlegrounds. Once he's grounded, his Imperial Guard escort will protect his ship while you locate him. Getting the report is up to you. Good. Let's hope he doesn't hold me responsible for his flight plan. There's a code word, chromatic, that might convince Amar to cooperate or it could raise suspicion. Do what you have to and I'll be in touch. Yeah, I'm not using a code word on anyone. Just saying. Ooh, sorry about the sneeze. <laughs> Yeah. No, no code word. I can't, even if it's not the brainwashing kind. That was fun. I wish they had better windows, bigger windows, <laughs> to uh, be able to look out while traveling at that speed. Hang on. Wait a second. I think I want to read a letter or two that I've neglected for a while. My wife, you remain in memory. You met with the three. Our family is honored. Therod Tong counsels the young. My uncle and I record. My sister speaks to outsiders. You touched her. Baston is gone, but you brought joy. Ah. And then there's a more recent one. My wife. I do not know if you hear. I sent out of tradition. I speak as a friend. The tea house is different. The holidays came and we study. Your people walk, Voska. We offer tea, some drink, I remember you. Others marry, I remember you. Your place in the tea house always remains. Others' hearts fill the emptiness. Forget me, remember Voss. Ah, it's sort of sad, but <laughs> I knew him for, what, five minutes? And then there's a letter from Vector. It's ironic, isn't it? The others don't speak much to Scorpio. Neither do we. Frankly, she has little interest in emerging from the engine room or speaking to lesser intellects. <laughs> but we think we're starting to understand her. We found her interfacing with the Holonet recently, and she told us what she saw. A thousand people, a thousand stories, and places all at once. 
We told her we experienced much the same thing when we communed with the nest. She watched us for some time, and we thought we'd reached her. Then she told us, but you are not the will of the nest, and turned away. <laughs> we have come to respect Scorpio, but we wonder what she will become. That's a good question. Speaking out of character, of course. That's a bit of foreshadowing, to be honest. <laughs> I've never understood war and the bombing of buildings. You're ruining homes for people. You're not. Sometimes war and terrorism is... The line is really blurry. Maybe sometimes it's necessary, but maybe sometimes it's not. And history is written by the victor, you know? Wow, <laughs> didn't mean to get deep into uh, an issue with war, but this game sort of invites us to, to think about it sometimes. Maybe we're not getting the suffering from, you know, civilians. Maybe they should have brought that on a bit more. But most games don't want to delve into that topic because it's going to ruin the mood. <laughs> Intercepting a message from Moxamar's transport. Flight path is too dangerous. We'll set down until the Republic cannons stop firing. Only a matter of time before they send ground troops. Reinforcements requested. That's your signal. Get to Zamar before the Republic can, and get his report on our forces. Right. Let's find a moth. Look at that. That that shouldn't that fall? <laughs> I don't know. Enemy reinforcement! Hello. Ready when you are, Agent. Good. You're always ready, Victor. Aren't you? Well, good riddance. Where's the moth? Here's the ship. Halt right there. I'm on your side. I'm here to see Moth Zamar. And I am sworn to protect him. State your purpose. The Republic is on its way. You're about to be overrun by Republic troops. Now is not the time to play secretary. I heard her, Commander. Send her in. A rather small rescue party. Still, I'm grateful you found us quickly. Here's the thing. You've got something I need. The report you compiled on our forces. Do you have it? Yes. Why do I suspect you're not authorized to know about Maybe it? Maybe because it's true. The report is complete, and it is safe for the eyes of the Dark Council. You understand I can't say much more. Well, listen. I'll be totally honest with you. Your data may be the only undoctored accounting of Corellian forces. By the time it reaches the Ministry of War, someone will have altered it. I need your help to learn who's changing reports and why. Those are bold claims. Yeah, I know. I've seen numbers altered before. Dark Lords who use troops for their own purposes and cover it up. Sith infighting disguised as glorious conquest. If someone is taking advantage of that to rewrite our plans, you can have my report and... Yes? We've spotted more Republic soldiers, sir. You'll have whatever political and material support I can give once we reach safety. For now, can you lead us out of here? I can, and I will. Stay behind me and keep close to your escort. I can get you outside the building. Commander? We can make it to an outpost from there. Right. Let's... 
still with the Republic soldiers. Damn it, they, again, they're just spawning almost behind me. Yeah, my connection is a bit bad. Maybe. It doesn't look like it, though. But... Come on. You're dead, you just n don't know it yet. There we go. We can take it from here. There's an outpost not far. We appreciate the rescue. You're welcome. Use that report in good conscience. I will, thanks. This is Lord Razor to all forces. The Resistance and its Jedi friends have struck back. Report to my forward base. They are here. The calves have come to the butcher. You'd better lend a hand. The Empire can't afford a loss right now. I'm honestly not keen on helping that guy. We should let him squirm a bit. That isn't what we do. No, but I'm going to continue it's what my I analysis. Do. <laughs> Contact me once you're through.